from the top to the bottom. What's good, YouTube? Your boy 21 here, bringing you guys today my up to date chain gadget deck list. This is the deck list I will be starting off using going into the Duelist Alliance format. And it is a subscriber request by subscriber Chris Smith. He has a, a tournament coming up tomorrow, I think. And I kind of feel bad for not getting this video up for you right away, Chris. But, you know, working, school, personal life, females. I haven't really had time to um, get to this video. And plus, I've been doing all the side projects for the channel. So, sorry for getting this video up late. But without further ado, this is my chain gadget list I plan on using in the next format. Let me kind of fix that right now everything in order i guess it is in order oh fuck it oh well and um yeah let's get started with the deck profile hope you guys enjoy it as always three green three kage one one until that new mega form come out mega form will be getting a card review soon three red one kage one redox three tango fist Tremelio, three yellow i'm not gonna explain everything because you guys know the cards too Starting off with this new format, cut down, change something into two. Reason being, I found myself last format and this form, up and coming format from testing the few games I've tested that chain summoning fucking clogs with the new draw five rule. So I figured with the new draw five rule, you don't want to open up with too many of them. It's one of those things like three is too hot, one is not enough, two is just right. And I feel like two will be just right. Now, granted, I will say I haven't tested this build out yet, but even at three, this card is still a game changer. So right now I'm testing out two of a lot of gadget players that you guys from Poja are probably going to bash me for now. Um, not running double summon, but, you know, outside of shot alls, chain summoning is still good. And I feel like when I cut it down to two, instead of running it at three, it'll still be as good as it used to be. And I won't dead draw the lot because I added Soul Charge back to the deck to make some quick XYZ plays to handle stuff that we usually can't handle and the stuff that we're using not used to handling. Like, for example, let's say if our opponent has a mid-rash and... Okay, that's mid-rash a bit back then. But let's say our opponent has a Draco sack on the field and we, we don't have chain something out right now, but we do have a soul charge play. Go for the soul charge. Make Castell. Castell bounced after Draco. It's like certain situations where... You want to use cooperate both of these together. And if you draw these together, soul charge triggers chain summoning. And also, as I said before, birth skill triggers chain summoning. I, if you guys noticed it already, I had a forbidden chalice, gadget, chalice, summon, chain summoning. You can negate mid rash and go push through your chain, your summon. So th these are some of my, my, my most ideas going into this format. I feel like chalice is going to be the game changer for the format. Due to watching OCG results, not gonna lie, and it's just a good card. Everyone's running wiretap, so Chalice will be there in the gate. Three Mystical Space Typhoon, three Soul Charges, Self Explanatory. Roger did his thing out in Worlds this past weekend, so shout outs to Chile Roger for making gadgets and doing gadgets good. Shout out to every matter of fact, fuck it, shout out to everybody who did good with gadgets this format whatever it was at the regionals whatever it was at the locals shout out to the gadget pojo forums because honestly without you guys i wouldn't be nothing and for you guys having the support for me to get ideas for my deck when i first started playing gadgets i thank you guys a lot so shout out to all of you guys you guys are awesome um one bottomless the breakthrough skills because of midrash and it triggering chain summoning one compulse because of midrash and shout outs d prison warning Solid warning number two, in my opinion, they just took the counterpart off. This card is really fucking good. It's, and it balances out Soul Charge, in my opinion. You have this, it counters out that. It's like White Hole and Dark Hole. TT and two infinites to counter out anything your opponent's special summoning. Now, you guys see, I was going to run Diana in this deck, but I decided not to because, like Roger said, and from my testing with Diana as well, Diana made hands really dead and i'm not really running three mermelio i like to run the two because i feel like two and three targets to search out is really good enough i might have ran three if i run six gadgets because it'd make more sense since you're running six gadgets and three of her but right if i'm running nine gadgets i'll just cut her down to two and i don't have a side right now so i'm not gonna give you guys a side until probably later on in the format after this deck changes because you know at the end of the day it never really stays the same from the first model it might tweak here tweak there 
but you never really have the changes until like the final build is released. One dweller, only, only, honestly, my extra deck is pretty much the same Draco sack, etc. So you guys already see that. What I added new was one Castiel, and I took out a Sign Honor Arc for Castiel because this card is really good. Like people sleep on this card. Like it's pretty much the same thing as this. It just don't get the protection from destruction by battle claws. But realistically, with everyone wearing three MST and Ryer tabs, how viable is that effect? That effect is really not that viable. And it has the bonus effect of if you don't want to use this bounce back effect, you just target one face monster on the field and flip it face down. So if, if I'm reading this correct, target one face monster on the field, change that face down to defense position. You can target one of your own guys and book it face down. So if you're attacking some shit in your deck like Ryko or anything like that, you can pretty much just reuse it or Fossil Dino. Yeah, you could flip your own fossil on it down and flip them back face up with this thing. I right, one face monster in field. Yeah, so yeah. This card is retarded. Get this out, summon fossil nano, tack tack, flip fossil nano down with effect, special summon some more. When you're following turn, well, you probably won't want to flip it up, but if your opponent spans out some shit, they know they gotta worry about fossil nano. So yeah. I like this card. So many plays raids. Get this card while it's cheap. I'm telling you guys right now. This card, I know Yu Gi Oh! I, I was one of those guys at locals that were telling everyone, grab Gaga Ga Cowboys, grab a pistol before they go up. Everyone's like, yeah, it might go up. Yeah. And literally, the car was $3 when it first came released. This jumped up to 20 This jumped up to 20 to 30 So grab this car. I'm telling you. It's just as good, if not better, than Sign on Arc 101. I think the reason why everyone's not grabbing this car is because it's super rare and not see ultra rare. So they feel like they don't have to grab it right away. Well, guys, this is the deck. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Video. If you did, give it a please give it a thumbs up and show your support. Comment down in the comment section below your ideas for gadgets because I always love new ideas. Also, I do have another gadget deck I'm going to be testing out as well. This format it is the Rank Up Magic Gadget I talked about before. I've been currently collecting the cards, but I don't know. Like I said, ever since I've been to TCG Player State Championships and did okay with the deck, even with the new turn draw five rule. And the only deck I have to worry about is shout outs. I don't know. This deck kind of grew on me. I'm, I'm one of those type of persons that's like, I'll take a deck and just try to run with it and do good. I do. I did, I did that in every card game I play. I did it in the Versus TCG when I played it a little while back. I did it in Pokemon. I did it in Naruto. And I pretty much have minimum, minimum to really good success with decks that I just play for a long time because I know the deck and it helps me balance out my life more. So that's the reason why I play one deck versus switching up from deck to deck to deck. And if you guys watch my dual videos, I might be the best player with the decks that I test out, but I learned the decks enough to know what I'm doing with it. And if I play test the decks some more, I'm pretty sure I can master it. So yeah, this is the um, Chain Gadget deck profile post Duelist Alliance. Comment, that, comment down in the comment section below your, your thoughts on it. All right, this is Yoba21 and I'm out. Deuces, have a good day.